another episode here on the JDG podcast, Jimmy Dukes Gaming. Today, I am very fortunate to be in the presence of greatness and shit. No, <laughs> no but thank you guys for coming through, man. Um, we're here sitting here with uh, three gentlemen that are part of a new fight promotion here in El Paso, Texas. We're going to be sitting down and getting to know them a little bit and something about their promotion and things like that. You know, I'm always looking to to speak to people that are pursuing, you know, something that's out of the norm. You know what I mean? Like, I always respect people that um, always go after. I know I've known Ricky for a little bit and he's always such a positive dude. But um, I appreciate you guys coming out and uh, letting me guys come into this gym, man. Of course, of course. Yeah, man. So um, let's just get into it, man. I want to I just wanted to, if you guys want to just introduce yourself to uh, the audience, man, if we just go here uh, from left to right, man. All right, for sure. Uh, I'm Ricky Savage, uh, professional fighter right here at El Paso, owner of SVG MMA Academy, CEO of Kingdom Fight League. And yeah, we'll get more into it right now. Uh, my name is Lonnie Morales. I'm the uh, owner of Kingdom Fight League. Yeah. <laughs> and yourself, sir? Yeah, so my name is Lamar Harris. I'm also a professional fighter, assistant coach at SVG Academy, and I'm the president of Kingdom Fight League. Let's also go, Also the matchmaker. Let's go, so, man. So thank you guys for kind of introducing yourself. And um, just a little quick background about yourself. I know i know known you, and I'm, I'm just getting to know these gentlemen, but just a little bit for somebody that might be seeing you for the first time, Ricky, just a little background about yourself and, you know, how you've been, uh, how long you've been in the fight game and, you know, the promotion and owning a gym, man. Yeah, so I started uh, MMA about eight years ago in Las Vegas. I was living out there. I started training at Syndicate MMA, uh, and I just got super obsessed with the game. Once I, once I got introduced to the game, it was obviously when you first walk into MMA gym, if if you're a real one, you're you're going to test yourself and get in there. And I got my butt whooped. Hey, you know, <laughs> well, you kept guy. showing up. I got my butt whooped, and, and it just made me hungrier. You know, you're always going to have two sides of the coin. It's like, some people will just never show up to the gym again and be like, I'm out. And then some people are going to be like, you know what? I want to do this. I want to keep pushing myself. I want to get better. I don't never want to get my butt whooped like I did like that day. <laughs> right. And so that motivated me and put that fire inside me to keep pushing and keep grinding. And, you know, eight years later, we're here. And like I said, I'm a, I'm a pro fighter, still, still trying to get matched up. Got a lot of pullouts. A lot of guys not making weight. But uh, it's part of the game. You gotta you gotta learn to 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 accept the good with the bad and uh, take whatever God it has to give us, you know. And right now, I'm blessed to be here with my team uh, for Kingdom Fight League. And thank you for having us on this podcast. Yeah, man. I, I just want to piggyback off that. I'm glad you said that about showing up because you know me starting jujitsu too is one of those things that you you humbled. You get humbled quick, oh, you know, sure. especially with even with more with striking. For I sure. mean, I can't even imagine just getting punched in the face over <laughs> and over again or leg kicked or whatever. And then not showing up again, like, oh, fuck that. I'm not part of that life. For but, sure. You know, but I respect people that train in anything because, you know, you could easily just say, oh, fuck that. That's not for me. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> with, with grappling, worse that happens is you tap. Yep. You know what I mean? Like tap. And it sucks. It's a hit on the ego. It's all good. You learn to take that hit in the ego when you start jiu-jitsu. That's why I love jiu-jitsu. Uh, with Muay Thai, it's a little bit <laughs> yeah. different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you, you get some ribs broke. Yo, man, no. You get your nose broken or, <laughs> or you get, you know, you get some tough shots to the body. You get dropped with a liver shot. Like, it, it, it's definitely very intense. Um, But like I always tell the guys that come train here, uh, you want to be multidimensional. You yep. don't want to just have one aspect to the yeah. game. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah, man. A little bit of everything. That's cool, man.